Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now, if this is the first time that you are visiting here, I'm Tina, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you like your stay here today. Please consider subscribing and be sure to hit that notification bell when you do. All right, I've got cloth and paper to share with you today and I have my subscription box and an order, woohoo! Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Um, these two boxes came on the same day and that was awesome. I came home and they were sitting on my step and I was just so excited to see them both on the same day. So I'm gonna be able to share both of these things with you and I obviously know what I ordered and I don't think I saw any of the sneak peeks for the subscription box. So I'm pretty excited to see what's in there. I think what I'm gonna do is open the subscription box first and then I will open up and share what I got in my order with you and also a little bit of a sneak peek on how I'm going to use those items in a planner that I am in the process of setting up. All right, let's get to it. Let me go ahead and open this up. I like to share exactly how everything comes when I open it up with you. So let's open it up and see what we got. All right, so right on the top here, we have the what's inside card. So I'm gonna set that to the side and let's open up the tissue paper and get that first. Oh my gosh, look at this. I definitely did not see any sneak peeks on this. Oh my goodness. All right, let me scoop everything out. Let me unwrap everything and I'm gonna go through it all with you in detail. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I have my what's inside card to the side so that way I can refer to it. All right, to start off, we have this mind mapping desk pad. Take your thoughts from scattered to structured with the help of our mind mapping desk pad. Place your focus in the center circle, then use the surrounding dot and space to allow your thoughts to flow organically jot down next steps in the notes column and synthesize your thoughts in the reflection section. All right, so this, I feel like I saw this on maybe their Instagram and yeah, I didn't realize at the time that this was going to be in the subscription box. So it's pretty like, it gives you that description on how to use it. This is something brand new to me. So I, full disclosure, have no idea how I'm going to use this, but it it seems very interesting. And I bet that cloth and paper has a detailed YouTube video out um, how to actually use this. I'll take a look at that and see if I can find that video. And if I do, I will link that down in my description because I'm very curious as well on how um, they designed it and how they really want you to use it. I understand what they're saying, but I'm very visual. So I would like to actually see how it's done. So that is this whole desk pad and of course their desk pads are very generous you can see there's lots of pages there and the desk pads of course it's a pad so it's gummed on the one side all right very very interesting all right now we're moving on to some dashboards august dashboards are a breath of fresh air the soothing design of our minimalist space dashboard provides a moment of relaxation in your planner setup so here is the space dashboard and it says here, there's actually quite a few things that are written here. And then we've got like some circles here. I think that the sticky notes would fit in there. Hmm, I'm gonna check that out. But I'm just gonna read the first line here. It says space is one of the classic seven elements of art refers to the distance or area around, between, and within the components of a piece. Space can be a positive or negative, open or closed, shallow or deep, and two-dimensional or three-dimensional. Sometimes space isn't explicitly presented within a piece, 
but the illusion of it is. And it goes on to say, American architect Frank Lloyd Wright once said that space is the breath of art. What Wright meant was that unlike many of the other elements of art, space is found in nearly every piece of art created. Painters imply space, photographers capture space, sculptures rely on space and form, and architects build space. It's a fundamental element in each of the visual arts. Oh, I really, I like this. This is beautiful. Shelley Isak. So that is really, I, I once you read it, it's just, it's very, very beautiful. And I really, really like this dashboard. This one here says our one minute habits dashboard reminds you that every minute offers an opportunity to make a positive choice. All right, let's go ahead and read what is on here. I always like to look at things in detail. So one minute habits, and I like the way that it's set up here. You've got the, like the three little dots in the corner, almost like your screen, where you've got the three little dots to um, click on. This one says, get out of bed right away, set daily intentions, take deep breaths, drink water, eat more greens, use SPF every day, fix your posture, express gratitude, tidy up before bed, start really listening to others, take breaks to move your body, check your bank account. All right, these are great one minute habits. I really, really like this. This is awesome. All right, so two beautiful dashboards. All right, now we're gonna move on to inserts. Too much on your mind, our new mental download inserts provide a way to calm the chaos and avoid becoming overwhelmed. Take control of racing thoughts by breaking them into actionable tasks. All right, so this is the mental download insert. Now I wanna go ahead and open this up and look at it in detail, but at the same time, I know that they have put like sample sheets in their inserts before and nope you don't see anything here so let's go ahead and just open it up and check it out for ourselves the one thing i forgot to mention is that i received the classic size happy planner inserts you choose the size that you want to be receiving on a monthly basis but you can go in and change that size as well whenever you want. They send you emails to remind you of the cutoff. If you, you know, maybe have whatever you need for one particular planner and you wanna get the next subscription in a different size, you wanna just be on the lookout for those emails. That way you can go in and change things out before they get shipped to you. All right, so let's get back on track here. Let's see, I open this up and we've got mental download, general notes, um, okay, so this is kind of like an idea vision type of board here, because idea one, two, three, there's a space here for the date and visual, and this is all like a dot grid in through here. And it looks like that is the same. Now let's see if this is all the same or if they've got something else tucked in here. Looks like it is all the same. Oh, except there is a back page, whoops, that is just like a plain, whoops, sorry, I'm a little all over the place right now. Um, plain just notes page, just to kind of like finish off the back page here. So, mental download all right so it's pretty self-explanatory you just write things down and then you write down your ideas and then you have it space there for like any pictures or any visual things that you want to put based on whatever your ideas might be all right so the next thing they have here is the october 2021 horizontal weekly inserts and these are going to be coming in the remaining uh, boxes for the rest of 2021 and I did do details of these inserts so I'm just going to kind of open this up and give you a little bit of a quick view because if you didn't see that before 
you can see that right now, but here's the insert. It is dated, as they said. It has the month at a glance in here, so this is their horizontal layout. Um, and then, of course, we've got the October with the big O dashboard, October in the corner here. So that's nice to add into your planner. And then they also included a uh, plan ahead for events and special occasions with our flexible set of 2022 half page monthly inserts. All right, so they did send these out for us for this year and they're half sheets. So you've got your month at a glance here. You've got reminders and priorities for this month. And then on the back side, you have an area for notes. So I don't know about you, but I definitely have a page dedicated for each one of my months. And I like to keep a running kind of to-do list for all of the things that I am responsible for. And I like to put the bills that I need to pay and just the goals for the month and like what are my priorities for the month? So if you like that idea, this is a great little sheet to do that with. And these, of course, are half page and it's here for the whole year, 2022. So, wow, I can't believe I'm already saying 2022. Oh my goodness. All right, so now we get to move on to the accessories that were included in this box. And we're starting with Circle Sticky Note Set. Your favorite classic patterns have been reimagined with a modern twist in our latest matte Circle Sticky Note Set, featuring coordinating lined dot grid and graph designs. Oh my goodness. All right, so we've got, these are really cute. Look at how cute these are. I love the different sizes. I like the graph and then the dot grid here and then the lined. How cute is that? Now, I bet that these sticky notes will fit in here. I betcha, right? Because they are very deliberate when they do their designs. And there you go. So you could write that out and you could put that right in there. That's pretty cool. And I bet this dashboard with the circles on here, oh, not this one, because this one's got writing on here. This one right here, space. This is the one that I was looking at and I saw these stickies and I thought, I bet you this goes right in here. So, look at that all right and you could you really use any of these i mean this one's obviously going to be a little bit smaller but really cute i like it so not only is this dashboard beautiful but it can definitely be very functional as well and then the other sticky notes that they have from the shop i bet will fit in there as well and even if they overlap a little bit you know that's fine too but Super cute, love this. All right, now we've got graph sticky notes. And here are the graph sticky notes in Angora. So when they label them matte, that means that you can write on them. When they say they're transparent, that means that they're like that um, kind of that vellum type of smooth material. And whenever you have something like that, then you need to use the appropriate pen on them. But I really like the matte stickies because then you could just use whatever pen, you don't have to worry about it. All right, now we are on to the mini sticker set. Oh my goodness, these are super, super cute. Accent your layouts with our mini sticker set in subscriber exclusive color Moscow, featuring six sheets of unique sticker shapes. Crafted from our new ultra transparent material, this set is conveniently credit card sized for ultimate portability. Oh my goodness, when I unwrap this, that's exactly what I was thinking, that these will fit perfectly in any of your planners because they're already like cut to fit in there. You don't have to cut anything down. And here's, oops, here's the little card that shows the different shapes. So we've got like a round, a teardrop, a square, a octagon, 
um, or a hexagon. I forget what those are called. <laughs> and then we've got the corner sticker and then looks like a strip here. So let's look through each one. So here's the little round. I love these. And it says here that there's 30. So there's 30 on this page. And then here, let's, I wanna show them to you so you can see them very clearly. All right, and then here's the square. And the hexagon, see it's labeled, perfect, hexagon. All right, I like the color, it's very neutral. These are the tape stickers. So it looks like it's just one big sticker, but they're obviously cut here. So those are tape strips. And then we have the corner. And again, they look like they're a square, but they are sliced diagonally. So you've got your corner stickers. And the last one is the drop stickers. So, so cute, neutral. And I am loving this new packaging with this. These are cool. <laughs> These are really cool. All right, now we are on to our journaling cards. We've got a month view for October in matte and in clear. And that is going to be right here. So here is our matte view. Oh, I feel like they changed the corners. They, they softened them up. They rounded them out. I kind of like that. I don't know. It's just kind of like a softer look. So I really like using my little journaling cards, my calendar ones. I like to put them one into my mini, and then I like to put the clear one as a decorative element. Let me turn this around so you can see it in my um, month that I'm going to be in for October. And I like to clip it with my Ollie clip and it looks, it's just like a nice little accessory on there. And I just really like the way that that looks. And that's how I use mine. All right. And then the last two here, we have a reflection matte quote card. And what's on your mind? Take the time to reflect and grow. All right. So you can write whatever you want on here. And then we have the actions clear prompt card. So look at how pretty this is. Let me um, give it a little bit of a background so you could see it. It is clear, but I just want to put this on the back so that way we can read it. The return we reap from generous actions is not always evident. All right, makes sense. And then usually there is like a clear little plastic coating on here to protect the cards, which I never take those off until I'm actually ready to use them because that's the point of them to keep them protected till you are ready to use them. All right, so this is everything from the subscription box. And here's the what's inside card. So you can see how that looks. And on the back of it, it does have illustrations here. So if you're not sure what something is called, you can refer to that. And I love that they have started doing that. They've been doing this for a little while now, and I really do appreciate it. So here is everything from the August stationery box. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the order that I placed and share with you all of those items. All right, so here is the box that has my order in here. I just wanna open it up with you. It's been a while since I've actually placed a separate order other than my subscription box with cloth and paper. So let's open this up together and that way you can see how their orders come to you. Of course, it's very similar box and Ooh, we've got a little thank you card here right away. There's probably an invoice in there. And here it says 2122 Capsule Collection. So let's, hmm, I don't know. I kind of want to scoop everything out of here just because I want to get this box out of the way. All right, that is so much better. Now I can go ahead and open everything up with you. So a thank you card and oh, I got a little freebie in here. Oh, this is pretty. 
aesthetic with the white lettering. I like that. All right, let's open this up. Oh my goodness, I have to remember what I ordered. I'm telling you. Remember the big things, but. Okay, so we got this double in here. Ooh, oh yes, yes, yes. All of the goodies. Some accessories. Ooh, okay. And then I got some inserts and okay let's get rid of this all right so i'm going to start off with the accessories that i picked up and i picked up this sticky note it is a four by three inches and it's a habit tracker and i gotta say that i am horrible with using habit trackers so you're probably wondering well why did you get sticky notes that are habit trackers this is my thought I like the idea of using a habit tracker, but I'm really bad with turning to the page where the habit tracker actually is. So for instance, if it's like printed on an insert or if it's maybe a sticker that I put on a page, I am not going to go and turn to that page and use it. Now, because I open up my planner every day for whatever week I'm in and I need to refer to it, of course. I look at that and that's what I look at for the week. And that's just, that's who I am. I don't go back and look at separate pages for the month. Everything I need to see is in that week. So my thought was to get a habit tracker that is going to be something that I can move around with ease, hence the sticky notes, that I think that this might work really well for me. So it's not going to be just in one place. I'll be able to move it around and then hopefully be able to use it and, um, you know, use it for what I want to because I do work well with like doing like checklists and things like that. I think everybody, it's just like the satisfaction that you get when you write something in there and you just check it off or cross it off, whatever it is that you do to note that, you know, it's done. I don't know, for me, it's very satisfying. So if I can actually see a habit tracker, then I will be more likely to do the things that I put on there. All right, enough talk about the habit tracker. Let's talk about these beautiful other accessories that I picked up. And I'm actually just going to bring them all out here because I got them all in rows. I did not have this color. I think I might have the um, transparent flags. I think that's how everything started here with the rose color, but I really love this color. It's my favorite color to use in my planner. I like the light pink, so this would be perfect. And these right here are tab sticky notes. And this comes as a set and there is a transparent and then there is a matte. So here's the transparent. Of course, you would need a particular pen to use to write on here. And then there are the matte ones. So I recently used these and I found a great use for them and I really like them. So I wanted to get some in the rose color. Now the other ones I got here are these rose drops. And these are also little stickers. They are transparent material, but I just love that shape. It's so cute. And I did not have these. They were sold out, I feel like, for a while. And then, anyway, I finally went back in and I, I got what I wanted. And now I did pick up the rose um, sticker set. So the set comes with the rose dots. And they are a little bit different because this is the matte material. So this material I can write on here and I just thought I would like the idea of having two options. So I got these in the transparent and then I got these in the matte. So you can see that that's the reason why there's like a difference in the coloring. It's a little bit lighter. Um, so we got circles, we got hexes, we got the squares, we've got the tape which is great because I could just write a heading on there, not a problem. And I got them in the map because then I could just pick up any of my gel pens that I use because that's what I like to use. And I don't have to look for the pen that I need to write on the transparent for. 
um, and then the rose corners. So those are everything that I got in the rose. Very excited about that. All right, this next item is fairly new to the shop and it is like a credit card holder. So it is made for a half letter size and half letter is eight discs. And of course I got the disc punch. And I know that they have this in, I want to say like the ring size where, you know, if you have a ring planner, sorry, I don't know the names of all the ring planners off the top of my head because I'm a disc girl. So, and I thought, you know what, even though it's going to be smaller than what I use, because I use the classic size, it's still going to work for me. It'll just be a little bit shorter in my planner. And honestly, I'm totally fine with that. And I just realized how cute are those little sticky notes from the subscription box. They're going to fit in there so perfectly. I want to grab them here. I'm going to grab, just grabbed like with the, with the card because I have a feeling they're going to be hard to get out otherwise. But look at that. Look at how perfect that is. I love that. And the little transparent like page flags, those will fit in there as well. Um, so lots of different options that you can use with this, not just for credit cards. Um, you can put pictures in there. So I just like to have those little pockets. They are very useful to me and that it's clear. I like that it's clear. I'm not good when it's just like a folder that you can't see through. I need to be able to be, I need to be able to see what I have in here. I'm very much like out of sight, out of mind type of person. So it's really important for me to have like clear, transparent um, folders or pockets in my planner. All right, so the next thing I wanna share with you are the Cornell inserts. And these are awesome, I love this. It's got a subject section here, the notes, and then a blank section down here. And I know Cloth and Paper has videos sharing how to use these notes if you're not familiar. Full disclosure, I wasn't really familiar how to use them. I mean, I had an idea of how I could use them and I have used them in the past, but I sort of went back, did a little like recap of how um, to actually, you know, again, actually use these. And it was very, very helpful. So I really liked that. Um, and I'll try to link that video down below as well for you. So there's a good quantity of those. And the last thing that I wanna share with you that I got for my order are the clear tabs, the side tabs. I love these and I know that there's a lot of glare here, but if you don't know this, if you flip them over, then it's a matte side. And I love the matte side. Like that is totally what I use when I use these because I like to layer my dashboards underneath here and I want to be able to see them clearly and I just love these clear tabs now let me share with you where these are gonna go all right so this is my little project that I have been working on setting up now this one I'm going to be using for business purposes and I went through all of my existing planner supplies to see what I had to put this together. And then I realized what I really needed. So what I did was I used the paper tabs, but I used these right here, which are these little tabs. And that way I was able to create some sections on the side here that I am going to kind of leave like that for now. And I wanna make sure that that is in fact the um, section that I want because I don't want to like label this, um, these new tabs and then have to like relabel them. But I've got those all set up for all of the different categories and sections that I'm going to be putting into this planner. So this one's going to be very, very functional and I really needed to get a lot of these little items to complete this planner setup. So that's how I'm gonna use these. And again, I'm going to use the matte side, not the glossy side. 
obviously, you know, you do whatever you like, but that's what I like to do. I like to use the matte side. And then I'm also going to be using these um, inserts in here, uh, the habit trackers, really everything that I got out of this order is going to be um, primarily to be using it in this planner here. And then this is my favorite color. So this is the pop of color that I will be using in there as well. And then, like I said, I do have some of the dashboards in here already from um, cloth and paper. Um, like this one is really pretty. I have this one here. Um, and then I do have these top tab clear top tabs let's see well some of these are not from cloth and paper like the dashboards but that's okay um i just want to show you the actual tab again these right here i flip them and i use them at the bottom and i really like a bottom tab you know i guess it's just the way that it works best for me when i look at my planner on my desk here instead of having to come up here to grab the tab or find whatever section I'm looking for, it's a lot easier for me to see it down here. So just a little bit of an idea for you. If you do get the top tabs from cloth and paper, then um, just flip them. And then you also have the matte side on the other side. So that's also the advantage of flipping them, at least for me, because that's what I prefer. All right. So you've got a little sneak peek here of what my planner is that I'm setting up. And uh, the cover that I put on here is not from cloth and paper, but I'm thinking that I'm going to also get a clear cover for this. Um, I haven't quite decided yet, but once I get this set up, I will do kind of like a flip through of it. I'm not sure if I will do it here on YouTube or if I will share it on Instagram. As I said, this is gonna be very functional, so it's not like I'm gonna be doing like plan with me or anything like that, but might give you an idea of how I'm actually using it and the different categories and how those are working out for me. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today. I know this was a little bit different type of video, not just the regular unboxing of the subscription for cloth and paper, but also what I ordered from them. And you got a little sneak peek as well. So please be sure that you are following me on Instagram at It's a Wonderful Plan. I am there pretty much every day. And you can always drop me a DM over there. Let me know that you found me on Instagram because you watch me here on YouTube. And please make sure you're subscribed to me here. When you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Drop a comment down below. Let me know, do you get the cloth and paper subscription? Is it something you're interested in getting? I will be happy to talk about it. I love, love this shop. It's super minimal. It's clean. It keeps me very focused when I really need to be focused. And that's something that I'm kind of uh, learning about myself and how my planning is, like what keeps me focused and what feeds my creativity. And this shop definitely is the one that keeps me very focused. Well, thank you again for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.